Hey. I am trying to get this right, but I could not go live from my computer. So I have to do it from my phone and I hope I have enough juice. So this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel and essenceofme.com. I am going to have to get a set up all over again. Hold on. But at least we can see. I just don't know how I can see comments on here. So who do I have with me today? Let's see. I gotta see if I can see it on my iPad. I used to do this different before, so I guess they must have changed something with the system. Let's see. Um, live chat. Can you guys hear me okay? I don't know. Let me see. I don't want to. Let's see hoping so I'm gonna be on a little today live I was gonna take questions and also do a little bit of crafting I have a few options hey hey baby. <laughs> thanks for checking can you hear me okay okay thank you so I was gonna do a little bit of crafting and because I'm on my phone, I may actually be able to do some cutting. So, um, and I won't be on here long if we don't have questions. So this will be dictated by you guys. Um, but to do a mini update, if you have not been tuning in, I have been still vlogging every week. We just had a new vlog that went up on Tuesday, so check those out. They are studio vlogs, which are a mixture of crafting and writing and what I have going on this week, y'all. It was up. You'll see, because I just finished editing it. So it will go up on Tuesday. This was my first week, first full week of doing keto. And that's all I have to say about that. Unless you have questions, because it was difficult but i'm trying to see if i can see the questions on my ipad but i don't think it's possible so what i'm going to do is show you what i have to work on since i can't figure that out i just hope i don't miss any whenever they roll up on the screen they roll up and then they go away real quick so what I have that I'm working on is some crochet blankets um, for a friend that does a holiday drive or a winter drive. And so I keep them all in this box or the current one in this box. The pattern that I am just going to do for all of them is found in this Make It book, Not Your Granny's Granny's. I think I bought this book years ago. And I want to say that I either found it at Joanne or did I find? No, because it would have had a half price book sign on it. So maybe I found it at Joanne, but I'm sure if you have the title, you can find it on Amazon. Um, I haven't tried though. But I bought it solely for the purpose of this one pattern that I'm using. And I think there's another one in there that I like. But this is the one that I'm making. I like it because it's it's easy to do. But I love the way that the, the ripples go outside the triangle. So, yes. Um, that's what I'm working on. And here is what I have so far. Let me grab it. This is the <clears throat> third, second or third that I've done of this pattern for this particular purpose. 
So it's fairly easy to do. So who do I have with me? And do you have any questions? Because if we are quiet bunch today, y'all, I will be signing out because I got some cooking to do. So what are you guys up to today? And I'm still fiddling. It has it. Um. Oh yeah, meal prepping. Oh, what are you making? You know I'm looking for recipes. I've been going crazy. Well, not crazy. Trying to find keto recipes. And I tried one last night that was a family-friendly one, in my opinion. And it was bacon cheeseburger bowls. And we loved them. Loved them. So, food prepping is good. I'm gonna crochet at the same time. I love doing grannies because I thought if I did the granny square project that I could actually crochet and talk. Let me show you how I have it set up though. It's messy, but it works. So this is an old box. Ooh. That's one of my favorites. You know what else does the creaminess really well? Um, not just coconut milk, but um, cashews. You talk about making creamy. Oh my goodness. Delicious. That's one of my favorites. I can't have them. <laughs> Maybe I can. Butternut squash. I need to look into that because this is the time of the year for that. Hello. How are you this, today? I was going to say this evening. Um, hey, Kayla. So I keep everything for the project not a fan of cashews but i'll try but not a fan oh you know what you actually don't taste the cashews but i think it's the fattiness in them that makes it very creamy so you can just do it soak them and then run them in the blender until it's creamy and it actually can do as a substitute for like a heavy cream and all of that um which is something i learned when you don't do a lot of milk products but yeah butternut squash is on point so I took this old Amazon box and I put all of the yarns inside of it. No, I have not tried it. How do you make it? The chafers, I keep seeing pictures of it. Come on, come through. Give me a link or something because I need to try it. Um, I put everything in this box, all of the yarns that I need. And when I'm done, I put the blanket Come on, come through with the recipe. So easy. <laughs> I put the blanket, the needle, and the pattern all in the same box. And um, and that makes it so that it's very portable for me to move around. Um, right now, I'm doing two. Okay, y'all, we need to, can we please establish a location? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a post up right now on youtube on the post page and you guys start sending me some recipes because so y'all must be doing it so is it hard for forever i'm crocheting y'all let me tell y'all what we're talking about if you're just coming in first of all in the comment section let me know what you're working on are you crocheting are you knitting are you doing your adult coloring i wanted to do that that would have been so much easier than dragging this blanket up here and then um, tell me what you're working on. And I'm going to crochet while I'm doing this. So my head's going to pop up and down, y'all. So if y'all see something crazy or crazy comments, please delete them. So on Monday, ooh, and on a clearance five. What's a clearance five? Crochet along. Oh, <laughs> clue number five. Got it. <laughs> working on a, I'm pressing, while I'm doing this, I'm going to put up a thing a post so you guys can try to give me some um, recipes so on monday i started keto so today is the first full week and i feel good i have not weighed myself again but the last time that i weighed myself i think i lost five pounds um and that was earlier this week i was breezing through it i'm saying breezing very lightly almost low-key sarcastically and then on a Friday, wait, Thursday evening, I started feeling bad. Um, but by Friday, I felt awful, like 
awful, awful. I, I can't even explain what the awful feeling was other than, let me tell you, it was a mixture of my head was clear. Um, I felt wide awake. I was well rested because I, I've been sleeping great, but I felt exhausted at the same time. And I just didn't want to do anything. You have no problems. Eggplant cashew sauce is also, oh, that sounds good. So, but, but as of yesterday, which was Saturday, it, it kind of lasted for like 24 hours or so maybe 36 um and today i feel better yesterday i felt better so i'm hoping that that was just a bump but um it's been good so i'm gonna put a post so that you all can give me your favorite recipes let me just go ahead and tell y'all the parameters of my recipes i do not like having to go out and find specialty products that you have to go to Whole Foods or you, if y'all can come on, let's get regular stuff. I'm a cooker cooker. So I got a lot of stuff in my kitchen. You know, tell me some of your favorites. I am looking for something that's low key kind of sweet. You know what? Whole 30, I've done Whole 30 before and that's what kind of helped me transition into eating vegan and I did that for three years. I honestly feel like I'm new, so y'all could take this. I could change my mind next week. That I can see how this is livable and how this is a lifestyle. Um, it really is not a huge change from what I was eating. Well, once you add in the meat. A huge change except for the limit of potatoes. Like I was, I'm a big potato lover. But I understand that later you can get a few more carbs and I'm sure, you know, we'll see. But as of right now, my mindset is that I'm embracing the things that I can have and not focusing on the things that I can't because something has got to change. And that's the only way I feel like you can change is by changing it. So, yeah, I've done I did whole 30 before, too. Um, how can I do it? Can I do it on here? Yeah, I feel like technology is not trying to be my friend today. I'm going to put up a post, even if it's after this, to request any of your favorite recipes, and you can just add it in the comments. So make sure that on your device, that in the top, when you go to your home screen, or even to your subscriptions, that in the top right corner, there's a drop down. Oh, so it's like for health reasons. Yeah, make sure you turn on posts and videos so that you can see when I put on the post. Oh, a Halloween quilt. See, this is the thing that I like about doing the lives, but I don't like about doing it on YouTube is because I can't see pictures. Pictures. If you're on Instagram, tag me. Oh, because I want to see the quilt. That's not fair. Hold on. And I can't even check my phone because I'm on my phone. <laughs> Tag me on Instagram. Uh, Dana Pittman Online or Crafts Craft Blog. Let me find it because I don't know it, y'all. I'ma find it. What quote are you? Oh, you, the the you just what quote are you starting? Was it the Halloween one? Were you the one that said Halloween? It went so fast, y'all. Here we go. I'm bopping up and down. See, I gotta help me out. Oof. Here we go. Oh, not you. Hold on. If you tag me on Instagram, it's Crafters Blog. It's on Instagram. I wanna see. Um, so what quilt are you obsessed with? CC. I think it was CC that said that. You're gonna make me wanna sing. CC, do you love me? Are you riding? Oh, okay. Okay. So we have some quilters. Do we have anybody doing yarn crafts today? We're only going to be on for a little while, y'all. It's already 20 minutes. Okay. Yay! 
That was cute. I know it's Kiki. <laughs> I know it's Kiki, but CC fell right in, didn't it? I know you probably heard it. I'm like, CC, do you love me? Are you riding? <laughs> People are like, this girl's crazy. Okay, I'm trying to put up a post and talk at the same time. I'm going to, let's see. Let's see if I can put it up. Yeah, any like, you know, um, easy recipes. I'm trying to keep it simple. Um, and just so that I can stay focused. I've enjoyed um, pretty much making the same meals and then making a couple of dinners uh, at, at a time so that I can rotate them in the evening. Eight inch squares are a nice size. I like eight inch squares. I'm liking the 10 inches too, because it seems like the quilt top happens much faster. I've never done the origami. I'm not good at it. Why are you scared to do the backing? Oh yes, I can hold the blanket up. Why are you scared to do the backing? Here's why I am now, and I'll show another picture from the pattern. This is what it looks like when it's done. Oh, you just tagged me. Okay, I'll check. See? Oh. You don't have to. You talking about when you do the backing and then you do the binding with the freehand? It is. This is, a, this is the only reason why I bought this book, and it's worth it every cent even though it was a 12 dollar book i've used it so many times here's another pattern that's really good in it but this is the one that i love it is great for doing with scraps um it just works out well and i've done so many of them and it works up fast because it's i mean it's a granny square the other ones in here honestly are kind of ugly i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't make them for anybody <laughs> but the idea is i guess it's worth it so yeah so if you, you're t are you talking about having issues with the binding? Let me tell you something. Once you learn how to hand bind, it really is a relaxing process. But um, I think sometimes, you know, learning how to catch it and not to go all the way through. I've also learned how to, or taught myself, because I didn't see it anywhere, how, but having to do quilts quickly, I learned how to do it what on my, on my machine. What's a Hera? It's probably another typo. <laughs> oh, goodness. You mean keep your line straight with the hand stitching? Y'all, I'm trying to work at the same time. I'm supposed to be working. And then after this, I got to go cook dinner. Is anybody else food prepping? I saw one food prepping. It's, it is Sunday if you guys do Sunday dinners. Okay, so yeah, so what do I have going on in my studio? Um, all to keep the lines to keep you straight, yeah. I don't worry about that much. I'm that's when I get to the part where that wing it in me kind of overrides. Um, but yeah, keeping it straight, especially if you are still learning how to do it. I usually fold it down. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You hate, I've heard so many people that hate hand binding. I love it. Even, and I feel like it's a good thing to take on road trips too. Like if I could swap with somebody that they do the other part and I do the hand binding, we would be best friends. <laughs> Cause I love it. Even big quilts. I love it. So here in the studio, what have I done? I have done very little because I was not feeling well this week. I have done the fabrics. Um, I pressed the fabrics and I need to cut for the quilts along, but I haven't started that. So you guys will actually see some of the fabrics. I thought I may try to cut while I was doing this, but I didn't think it would work because it's hard to see it as stuff is going by. Oh, do you send your quilts off to get finished? 
I'm talking to somebody. Um, I, this is why I love doing this. She's we're talking about um finishing her quilts. If you send it off to get it finished, like the actual quilting done by an outside person. And if that does that, do you just you are you doing a pieced backing or are you doing just a regular backing? I'm crocheting while we do this. Oh, you haven't done that yet. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. That's understandable. With the batting. Yeah, because but if you send it off, they most of them do the batting for you because they have a certain batting that they like. Oh, you want to try yourself. Now make sure if you plan to send it off. Okay, let me so people get the context. If you're working on a quilt and you just finished the quilt top and you plan to send that quilt off to someone else to do the quilting. No, I have not hand quilted, but I want to. I want to do like I did. Well, I'm telling a story. I did big stitching for a small piece, but never for a whole quilt. But the quilt, uh, the quilt retreat, but the mom's summer camp that I go to in almost all of their rooms, at least they used to have big quilts on the walls. And all of those quilts had big hand stitching. And I want to do that. That's what made me want to try. But I feel like if I do that, it should be like a really nice quilt. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to take all that time to hand stitch it, that it should be something that I really like. But I want to try it. I took, um, when I was in the quilters club, we did, we had a class on big stitch, big stitching. And I did that. And I did it with a, um, like a, a wall hanging, but I've never done it on a whole quilt. So I'm going to go back to what I was talking about for a second. If you have a quilt top that you finish and you're going to send it off to someone, make sure you check with them to see whether they supply the bedding and also whether they will allow you to prep sandwich the quilt most all the ones that i know like when i go to classes there's a lot of people that are professional quilters there they um they don't they don't want people to sandwich it for them they want they just want the quilt top and you send your backing and they do it because they mount it on their machines i mean on the you know on the the thing Yeah, I think it is. Um, yeah, I think basting is, here's what I found. When people are doing the big stitching on doing it on a whole quilt, I've seen people that do little fine stitches and I've seen people that do the big stitches. I think there's, the key number one is to just have consistency. So whatever it is that you want to do that is consistent. So you pieced y'all i'm sorry for jumping around i'll try to remember you pieced you hand pieced all of the blocks too now i ain't trying to do that is that what you did yeah this i'm not saving this video because i'm gonna look like a nut if people don't read the comments no 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 not you cc oh you you talking about me posting it i think it was karen was that karen oh kayla so yes, you hand pieced the blocks and you hand pieced the quilt top. You seen the way I leaned back with that. Um, did you see that? <laughs> that is great. How long did it take you? I'm not up for that either, Cece. We gonna let Kayla do it. Come on, Kayla, tell us what you did. Is that what you did? And how long did it take you? <gasps> For a twin size. Girl, you got my heart racing. Look, back in the day, that's what they did. People kind of look down on machine quilting. Yeah, that's what. Come on, Kayla. Quit holding out on us. CC want to know because she riding. <laughs> Y'all, I haven't had lunch yet. I need to drink on this coffee. It was a year long project. It, are you keeping it or are you giving it away? I'm sorry, we did not mean to grill you, but you brought it up. It just, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm with you, Cece. <laughs> I just, 
I'm thinking about it. I think that would be really good. Well, think about it. People do it when they do the hexes and they do it whenever they do the English um, paper piecing. They do all of those by hand. I just feel like it would take a long time. Is that a gift for someone, Kayla? Y'all jump in here. Let me know what you're working on. I'm being nosy. Kayla just done spilled all the tea and Cece's working in. Um, I forgot her name. She's cooking. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say, tell your sister she needs to step aside. No, ma'am. She cannot have it. <laughs> Not after a whole year. Oh, man. Now I want to see it. Oi, are you the who are? Did you say you tagged me on Instagram? Did you share a picture? I'm trying to see if I can see it on my. Other phone. Oh, yeah, no. No, I can. I would not. Oh, I got the picture. Oh, look at the Halloween quilt. Can I share your Halloween quilt? I don't think you'll mind. Look. Anybody else, you can tag me at um, Crafter's Blog. Here's what, the way it looks. It's Crafter's Blog. Oh, Kimberly says she wants to do a hand piece too. Look, that is, um, and I love the fabrics. Yeah, I don't know. Did I tag you? Let me see. Um, did you tag me today? Let's see. That, that was the only one, because I have it up. That's the only one that I see. I need to put this on the charger. Tag, if you tag me, let me know so I can see it and hold it up. Yeah, I don't know. You guys may inspire me. She said, Cece, you're not going to get very far with one square, though. <laughs> we won't ride with you then. <laughs> the Instagram is Crafters Vlog. Crafters Vlog, like my, oh, here it is. Oh, there it is. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you, Kayla. You know what? Y'all, that might be what we need to do. That may be the good project to do as a channel, like a hand piece, something that's small, because you wouldn't have to have a sewing machine. Now, you could have a rotary cutter, but you wouldn't have to. I mean, you could cut with scissors. I wouldn't want you to cut with scissors, but it could be something kind of small. Maybe a pillow, like a pillowcase where you just piece hand piece the front panel and just make it I guess like 12 inches but that would be real cool or maybe and then because I've done applique but I've never done a whole thing y'all got me thinking about this mm -mm, I'm about to get in my feelings uh-uh somebody tell us something else because it sounds like we're about to get another project and Cece already said she only gonna piece one block <laughs> hold on don't say anything I need to charge up my phone Okay. Uh-oh. Hold on. I missed somebody. Oh, no, no, no. I missed it. <sighs> Y'all, when it, I'm on the uh, phone, they come and go. Can I go back? How do I see it? Can I see it on... Um, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. I think I got it. Hold on. What's your thoughts on joining a quilting guild? Great question. Um, I want to, but don't think. Oh, I can devote the time. Yes. Oh, y'all don't let me give me started. Now we could do that. We could truly do that. And that's affordable um, for everybody. You can get all the supplies at Walmart if we did that. Okay. So what do I think about a quilting quilters guild? I think quilters guilds are good. Y'all, all right, I'm going to pull out a call for this. And if y'all y'all gonna y'all can't leave me hanging because I'm going to say CC, Kimberly, <laughs> Kayla, 
<laughs> I'm gonna be taking shots. Um, <laughs> you just add grade one. <laughs> Here's the thing with Quilters Guild with Dana. My life is busy and I find that I can go sometimes and I can't go all the time. And when you go all the time, that's when you meet people. That's why I like doing this. That's why I like when I see people coming all the time because it's like the sense of having a community without the full-blown commitment of getting my car, driving through traffic, so on and so forth. However, when you do Quilters Guilds, you get ongoing classes. You get the opportunity to rub elbows with people that have been doing it a long time. And I honestly feel like that type of environment will help your the speed in which you learn how to quilt right? So even though I don't go all the time, one of the benefits that I have is that I will go to classes. And when I go to those classes, some of the same people, yes, beginners can go. Um, some of the same people go to the classes that I go to. So when I go there, I know people. Oh, I got more pictures. I know people. So I don't feel like I'm missing out a whole lot, except for, of course, I'm missing out on a whole lot because I maybe go every six months or so. But I get updates on people's kids and how they're doing and what they're working on. And then I also go with the same group to the retreat. So to me, that's kind of a win-win. It's like maybe three or four times a year that I kind of tap in, you know. But if you go to a guild, yes, they take newbies all the way to season. They do um, quilt displays. They do fundraisers. They do gatherings. Um, they may go to festivals. They do... Um, quilt shop hops and stuff like that let's see we supposed to have some more pictures coming in so it is a great thing oh let's see let's see <gasps> look so wait you're doing the quilting now oh yes Okay, here is the hand-pieced quilt from Kayla, the rock star that is the overachiever. <laughs> Do you hear all the saltiness in my voice? <laughs> all that hating, that ain't even, that ain't even right. Isn't it beautiful though? I'm so proud of you. What size are these blocks, Kayla? Are you doing this top stitching? Cause girl, I know y'all, we could do this. This is, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but I think we could do this. Look, I'm pulling everybody. If y'all gonna get me in it. <laughs> How long has it taken you to quilt it, Kayla? She's like, y'all, I'm trying to work. Y'all asking me all these questions like I'm on the live. This is a community, okay? Look, and I'm still crocheting over here. Oh, see, here's the deal. If we decided to do this, because y'all keep asking me somebody, I just did a Q&A on doing a craft along. If we did it, I would do tutorials. I mean, in the past when we done it, I do tutorials to take us through each step. So the cutting, the piecing, the doing the sandwich, and then the top stitching, even though I've only done the top stitching a couple times, which y'all know, I know how to wing it. <laughs> but I kind of feel like the fact that she's doing it a twin size makes it a better benefit. Like maybe a lap size would still be large. All right, y'all, here's a second shout out for going to the library to fi for finding quilting books. Now, how many of you are in Kindle Unlimited? Because you can find uh, quilting books in Kindle Unlimited too, even though there's not a lot. Yes, that's good, Cece. Every time I say your name, I'm gonna hear that song in my head. I'm drinking this pumpkin spice coffee from Starbucks. I know, are you gonna hear it too? You're going to love it when you're done. What, what size are the blocks? Y'all, are y'all still working as our, as our grill, Cece? If you just joined us, we're talking to, <laughs> I mean, Kayla. Look, 
This is how you bring back the video. If you're joining us live, we're talking with Kayla. <laughs> oh, I'm the first one. <laughs> Now, now I will be stuck in your hair forever. If you're joining us live on the video, we are talking with Kayla, who is a quilter that has hand pieced and is hand quilting a twin size quilt. We showed the picture earlier, but let's do another one for a live update. <laughs> Y'all, look, I'm trying to take this away. Hold on. Y'all say Dana is crazy. Here it is, here's her baby. Do you want to share your Instagram? Uh, Kayla, can I share your Instagram? The quote is in squares, but it should be five inches. Okay, <laughs> she said it should be. Go, girl, go for it. Can I share your handle, Kayla? I know, you feel free to say no. We don't feel like we don't wanna pressure you. But you know, we wanna follow you, girl. We wanna see what you're doing. And I'm following you now, too. Okay, I'm going to show you all. She said yes. So here it is. It's marsupial cats. Hold on. Can you guys see that? I know we got a glare. I don't know. And it may be backwards. If I need to, I will put it in this. It's marsupial cats. Uh, can I? Here's what I'm going to do. If you are following me on Instagram, I'm going to repost it. You do. You have to post more, uh-huh, because you try to be an overachiever. <laughs> you have to, you got to help your friends out. You have to be a buddy to your buddy. I'm reposting you right now. So if anybody needs to see it, we can share and, and, and cheer you on. Okay, I'm, I'm reposting it as we speak. Yes, okay, you'll see right now. I'm gonna do that uh, and copy capture. I'm, gonna, I'm doing it as we to feed. I'm doing it. Your account is public. Okay, thanks. Okay, it's posted. Okay, I'm posting it right now. And if you follow me on Instagram, it's on my Instagram. Look at Crafters Blog. And if you all, anybody else tags me, if you don't mind, I can share too. Oh, yep. Okay, it's on there. It's on there. Yay! It's on there. Yay! Yeah, because if I show it on here, it's backwards. So yes, if you're joining us, yeah, let's, that's a good question, Kimberly. Okay, let me just tell you something. In the beginning, I used to get all of my fabric from Joanne. And I'm finding that over time that there are some things about the Joanne fabric that I like and some things that I don't. Even though all of it is 100% cotton, I feel like they feel different. So if I try to mix like the fabric from my quilting shop with that fabric, I feel the difference. So the first thing that I usually try to do is if I mix fabrics like from a quilter's block. Yay, hold on. Your account doesn't allow comments. Who, my, my account? You can comment. Try again. If it doesn't, let me know. My account? Try again. Girl, I'm be thinking, Cece, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. Okay, hold on. And I'm down for you always. Y'all, are we, we need to figure it out. Okay, back to the fabric. So what I try to do is if I have a quilt store purchased fabric, can someone else try to comment and see on my page and so I can talk and then, and then I can try to figure it out if something's wrong. Um, I take the fabric from my quilt shop to Joanne when I find the other fabrics and see if they feel the same. 
if I can help it. So I buy from everywhere. I even buy from Walmart. I don't buy from Walmart a lot because I feel like theirs is super thin. But I think especially if you're starting out, it works. It's, it's pretty much all the same. Now, here lately, what I've tried to do is keep my eye out on the sales rack at my quilting shop. Because... Let's see. I see somebody follow me. I don't see a comment. I see a mention. Oh, see, she trying to show out y'all. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Here's our Halloween table runner. So I'll go to my quilt shop and I will keep my eye on their sales rack and then I will get stuff there. So I think all of them work. Um, at the end of the day, I probably would say the majority of my fabric comes from Joanne because their coupon game is on point. But see, and that's why I feel like, you know what, I, I feel like all of it will work. At the end of the day, all of it will work. You just got to make sure that, you know, you take care of it and you pick it right. But I think now a lot of it's the same. I think the majority of mine comes from Joanne because of their coupons. You can put, you can put several coupons on the same order and at the end of the day, that always saves the money. Let me tell you something. I can go in there. I come out spending $30, $40 for $100, $120 worth of stuff. And whenever I see those and they stack and they get a good, I, I subscribe to it on my app. I just keep my eye on it every couple of weeks. And when they have a good run of coupons, that's when I take my little list that I have in my phone and I hit them up. And I get everything that I'm looking for. Yeah. The same thickness is important because it will feel different. And so then that way, once you put your batting and your backing, it works. <laughs> Wait, you had the stash before you started? <laughs> that's a bad habit. So, But that's easy to get to once you start ordering online. And there are some places where, you know, if you buy their scrap packs, so you buy you a couple of staple fabrics and then buy some of their scrap packs, you'll make a really good something. <laughs> okay. Kimberly said, you are a true quilter, even though you are just getting started. Pound it. <laughs> Did somebody try to leave a comment? Girl. I have a yarn stash and a fabric stash, but I'm working through both. I see that you guys are following, but I have not seen where somebody. Kiara. I'm going to ask my daughter, but she already follows. I don't know. I'm going to see. Huh. Maybe it's because, did you try try to leave a comment on another picture too? Because maybe it's because it's not my picture and it's a repost, but that shouldn't be true. I don't know. But yes, that was a good question. So about the guild, if you have one near you, I think it's good to try out and check it out and then to see if it's worth the fee. Mm. Oh, that was a good one. You, that you may have a quilting stash and a, I mean, a fabric stash and a yarn stash, and then giving away the ones that you want. What I end up doing is sometimes I give it away, but I use the stuff that I want to give away for charity stuff. See, working there, if I worked at a yarn a place that sold fabric or yarn, I would never have a paycheck. How do you do it? No, I don't know. Do you, did you see? Hold on, let me see. But do you feel like that's more expensive when you use the fusible interfacing on the cheaper fabrics? Okay, someone else did. So maybe you need to make sure you're following me. Um, Here's, here's what I've done in the past. Whenever I've had um, a quilt that had thinner fabrics, your yeah, clearance is good, um, that had thinner fabrics, I try to make sure that my batting's a little bit thicker and that I have a good backing. That's what I do. 
So that may be one that I choose to use a fleece or something like that. And that makes the overall blanket have a, a good weight to it. Because I do like to have blankets with a good weight. I'm checking again. Kiki. Yeah, see, I got a, I did get a comment. I got a comment on the um, planner. So, huh. Maybe it's just running slow. You're working on a poncho. Oh, yes. I did one poncho. Am I a starcher? Sometimes. Um, I normally don't starch, but like for this quilts along one, I'm starching because I have to cut all the pieces in advance and then I have to store them. So I do starch those, but I use a homemade starch so that it's light. Oh yeah, okay. She said she, she built up her stash, but it was in sales or Joann's. Then you are smart. Yes, so how many of you are pre-washers when it comes to your quilted fabrics? Oh, Cece? Is this you, Cece Carey? Is that you? Say, see, see. Oh, here, here. I'm going to see if I, when I follow you. Okay. Try to leave a comment now. I'm following you just in case that's the issue. I don't know. Do you all pre... I see a yes. Do you pre-wash your fabrics for quilting? I used to, but now I don't. That's from Kimberly. As for Dana, I don't. But I do wash my top. Cece said she did. Um, I do pre-wash my quilt top before I do my quilt sandwich and I quilt it. So I don't, that doesn't count, but I guess, but because it lets me see if there's any issues or if I need to make any repairs before I start quilting it. Kayla says she's not a pre-washer that she washed up. Let me just, I've received fabric from people that pre-wash it and let me tell you, I don't like having to do all the ironing. That's one of the reasons why I don't. I understand the value of it. I just have to trust. I put a, two of those um, die catchers in the washer machine, and that's what I do. <laughs> she said. See, and Diane said the same thing that she she doesn't, but she puts the color catchers, and that's what I do. And a box of those color catchers lasts you forever because I've had those color catchers for probably two to three years, easily. So they work. Cece, did you try to leave another comment? Okay. Any other questions? We've had some qu great questions. That was the guild. So, so Kimberly, to answer your question, the majority of everybody that's on today do not pre-wash their fabrics. They do not pre-wash. Yeah. So, it, and if you pre-wash, I would pre-wash, and then I would, um, I would, you know, press it, and then I may put a little bit of starch on it, and press it, and then go through the next phases. So do you all quilt your quilts yourself? Because since it seems like everybody, is everyone here quilting? I I know that uh, Margaret's working on the poncho. Let me know if you're cro crocheting or knitting. Okay, thank you, Cece. You got my book? Which one, Kayla? <laughs> Look at me cutting up, thank you. Thank you. And I guess Margaret said, I'm working. I'm not in here to be interviewed. You guys are the ones being interviewed today, huh? And I'm over here. I'm, I promise you, I've done four stitches since we've started. If you are just joining us, this is a live craft along. Everybody's doing a little bit of something. We have a uh, CC that is our new uh, quilter that has a mega stash, but has just gotten started. Oh, how's your how is your journaling going? 
Oh, that's Kayla. And do you do machine quilting as well, Kayla? That's Kayla saying she does stippling and straight, um, mostly when she does her own quilts. And Cece is journaling more since watching my videos. That is amazing. Spirit fingers. I haven't do that since I can't pound it. Straight only. Trying free motion now on a little quilt. I um, pur purchased Kimberly those rulers a while ago, and I'm starting to work with those, and I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I purchased the dot to dot class um, on craft that used to be craftsy, but now that's blueprint, and that's what I want to try. Try the dot to dot because I've done a little bit of everything, but I still feel like free motion is still not a natural feel for me. So I'm hoping the dot to dot will help along with the rulers. But I love doing the whole process. So we have uh, crocheters. I mean, uh, a lot of quilters. Any yarn crafters here today? I know Margaret said a poncho. So I assume that that's a crochet. But Margaret does everything. It could be weaved, if that's the Margaret I think it is. It could be all kinds of things. <laughs> no. You know what I'm going to do? No, but if I boot out... That won't help because um, Kayla was able. Yes, come through with the journaling. Your first love is knitting. I used to say my first love was crocheting, but I think the primary is now starting to turn to knitting. I just love the overall process. I love the process. I love the look. Crochet is how I got started, but I think knitting is kind of where it is. I, I think I will still do more quilting as time progresses because it's less labor intensive on like my hands and my joints because I do have issues with those, but I love all of it. I hope we are good on, on time. Yes, and I think crochet is gonna, I think crochet will always be the default. And sometimes I like I feel kind of bad because there's a lot of people that they they do the oh let me tell you if I if you ever had a one on one class with me you would no longer be scared with the two needles girl I, let me tell you when I first started this is what I just I just would do this because I like to hear the sound of the clicking it just used to make me happy. And then I just kept trying. Using the needles that have the balls on the end to place against your body help. Huh. I did. Don't laugh at me, Kimberly. Because, girl, I just like a kid. You know when you kid, you just want to hear this, the clicking sounds. Okay, y'all. Don't put a lot of comments. I'm going to try this one more time. How I, You can't turn the... I'm going to try to see if I can get my baby to do it. Kiara, she probably have her music on. Kiara, she's probably asleep. She just came because, yeah, try to see if she's asleep. You know what? Straight line is easy, but I feel like diversifying your free motion or your quilting helps, especially if you use your walking foot. Yeah, <laughs> Cece, I think it's you because Kayla just left the comment, but I don't even know if you can turn the comments off, but you might be able to. I just post stuff. Half the time, I'm not even on social media anymore. Can you help me? Somebody is trying to leave a comment for me. Look, they, I'm on live. You can see her hair. This is my baby. Hi. <laughs> Do you see her comment? Look. Say, hey, this is my youngest, Kiara. She's in there doing her hair, and we've disturbed her. She's trying to put a comment on my thing on, on Instagram, but she can't. And I don't know. She said I might have turned my comments off. Can you do that? Uh, I know you can limit A me. corner to corner. Oh, oh, I hate when that happens. You She's can. beautiful. Thank you. She get it from me. You, I'm you trying to you? defend it. You Go said... You said I was in there doing my hair. What you trying to say? No, I was just telling you because you, your hair is all over your head. I wasn't doing my oh, hair. Oh, I lied. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, she's going to check it. Uh, Comment on this? She trying yeah, to comment she's on trying, this? Yes. Uh, send it to my Instagram. I need to get my phone. Send it to you? Oh, you're going to yeah. try it? Yeah. Oh, she's going to test it for us. Okay. Hold on. She's going to help us out. Uh, 
I don't follow you on this one. Can I send it to you? Mm -hmm. Y'all, we trying to... Yes, you can. All that hair. That's what Kimberly said. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at her. What you need to be looking at is her eyelashes. And she can now do eyelashes herself. They couldn't see my eyelashes. And don't don't look too hard. They starting to slowly come up. It's been a week. She said she got a head full of thick hair. Yes. And thank she goodness don't do she, no more. I don't do it anymore. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't at all. Okay, send it to yourself because I can't do it and talk. So, yeah, this is my youngest. She just turned 19 on last Sunday, so a week ago. She said, girl, that was the first thing I noticed. <laughs> my hair? Yes. <laughs> it's everywhere. And her la oh your lashes oh your oh, lashes oh my lashes oh these things she has a channel too yeah she's she knows how to put them on individually your daughter is beautiful oh, happy belated birthday thank you oh you got people up here I know say hey we hey. trying to get it together does your does does um YouTube have a limit like Instagram does for life no I don't think so because uh, uh Instagram's limit is an hour. Oh no! It, mm -mm. It'll take you off. In the oh no! And we got to cut it down a little bit because we were supposed to be an hour. No, you could do it longer, but I know my battery may not hold up. It let so my, she's it let my comment. Okay, so Did CC. I don't know. I mean, I couldn't think of anything. Does she have like? Hold on, let me see. Okay, CC, it's you, CC. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, no, no. Oh, oh, yep. No, yeah, it worked. So you got to try. I told her she made me think of Kiki. I said, CC, do you love me? Are you riding? Hey. Like the boy said, she I'm says, a I said, okay, I see her her first comment. That isn't okay. Yeah, she, yeah, she, hers went on there. She said, it's not CC, it's Kiki. I said, I know, but your name is Oh, Cece. how's it spelled? It's, her name is CC, not Kiki. Oh, what she's saying because of the song. Yeah, she thought oh, I didn't know that it was Kiki. It's right. Like Sierra, when she went, uh, you'll probably know the song, but Jacquees. He, oh, no. he was like, Sierra. Okay, really okay we're gonna kick her out. Okay, so what else we got going on? What questions? Because y'all gonna be mad at me because it's almost an hour. And we're gonna keep trying to work on CC being able to leave a comment. So we've had questions about the guild. Y'all don't see my baby come through with her hair everywhere. And yes, her y'all, she done learned how to put on the individual lashes. I'm gonna let her do mine. Once I be worried, don't get no glue in my eyes. And we talked about buying fabric. We have we have strategized. I'm saying we because I'm calling folks out. Kimberly, Kayla, CC. I'm about to call some other names because I've seen them roll through and you didn't say anything. But we're talking about doing maybe a hand quilting project. And that will mean that people will not have to buy a sewing machine. You just need needle, thread, and fabric. And we have talked about what, where would you get the fabric, and we've talked about everywhere. Walmart, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, your local quilt shop. And I think that would be a great time to do something that's like a um, scrappy something because you wouldn't have to worry about the piecing. You mean what? CC is trying to be the lacy one. <laughs> of the community she wants one block we're gonna make one block but let's make one block <laughs> i don't even y'all yeah, i'm still on the video i'm teasing she wants one block uh that quilting this week yes vivian hey have you answered my question about the bible journal creation we ask the question again or for about four foot block see that's what we're talking about cc right there um, are you talking about your question about if I've thought about doing a devotional or a Bible study, Kayla? I think that was you. I, you know what? I put the questions in my phone and did not say the, the asker and I should have did snapshots. So I'll get better about that. Yes. So I'm going to, I did a video, but I'm going to answer it because we're here. Hey, Shelly. Welcome. Y'all say hi to Shelly. Come on. Let's. Let's be a buddy to our buddy. Um, Kayla, I did do a video, but, I'm, yeah, but I put it in the mashup so I can tell you guys here. Have I thought about doing a devotional or a uh, Bible study? Yes, I've thought about it. I have not done it, but I used to do Bible studies with my Bible study at church. 
And so I used to do them and I actually for about probably three or four years used to facilitate a online Bible study by conference call because that meant that people can share information and we couldn't see them. You know, they kind of could keep keep their anonymity. We only used first names. But that is something that I'm interested in doing again. I kind of always felt like there's so many studies out there. There are so many devotionals out there that I always just didn't mind facilitating them. But I believe that's something that that's coming down the pipeline. But um, I do it, the video will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. But, you know, make a call that if there's people that are interested, if we have at least five people or so that's interested in a Bible study, it would not be on YouTube because I like for people to be able to freely express themselves. It is an in-depth Bible study, um, but it would be done by conference call. So, yeah, shout out. And what I really want, we're almost, y'all, it's already an hour. We're just now getting our juice about us. But one of the things, a good voice for podcast. Thank you, y'all. These videos were supposed to be turned into podcasts, but it hasn't happened yet. I used to do a podcast a long, 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 long time ago. I think you can go into more depth than video, but yeah. Um, I was about to say something about that. It's going to come back. Let's hope it comes back. We were talking about the study. Yeah. If it's something that, you know, people are interested in, I don't mind. And, and usually people say, oh, but you're busy. But I do Bible study every day. So um, having a small community to kind of gather around to do it with them is always nice because you get different perspectives. Thank you, Kayla. You are getting a gold star. Kayla's trying to be a rock star today. Y'all better watch out. Kayla's on your heels like. <laughs> oh, yes, my baby do. You talking about my baby? Have a lot of hair. She does. Y'all, and let me tell you something. She has the nerve to be tender headed with all of that hair. Tender headed. Would cry. Oh, she would cry. Oh, she would cry when I would comb her hair. Whew, but I don't do it anymore. Okay, so we're going to start wrapping it up. So, any other questions? Because I'm still not sure if I'm going to put this up live, y'all. I was jumping all around. And if people don't read the comments, I'm going to look like I'm spazzing, talking to myself. So, the verdict of this gathering and this... Look, I'm going to turn this into a community meeting. This community meeting is that we are considering doing... A hand quilting project yes <laughs> all we need some yays or some nays um, also considering doing maybe some sort of study Kimberly is throwing up the thing Kimberly trying to come up on you Kayla she said I'm in here she didn't stop you stop cooking <laughs> are you still cooking so she can pay attention um, if we did that I honestly think we would do something very similar. <laughs> I need to take a breath before watching. You do. We all need to take a breath. Um, I think it won't be a specific pattern, but what it could be is just about the technique. So I could do tutorials on how to stitch the pieces together, you know, making sure you're staying at a quarter inch seam because that will be extremely important while doing um, hand sewing. Are there any tips that you would consider to share, Kayla, that I maybe need to consider? And I maybe need to share my email since you've done a full project. But yeah, I think and then do a, of some tutorials and maybe do it over a period of time and we can all choose our own size. But I think that'll be a great time to do something scrappy. Because then you wouldn't have to be worried about um, all the extra seams. You would be able to kind of sew around it because we would hand do the the finishing project. Oh. Let me tell y'all something. Okay, pause for the calls in your mind for one second. I really would love, hold on. Oh, y'all, and that cauliflower cauliflower wings was the bomb okay pause for the cause i really think for people that are whether you are journalers or you are faith believers that um doing a hand project would be great five inch squares marking the quarter inch is good yeah um 
it would be a great time to marry the practice of making a either making a prayer shawl or a prayer bring, blanket or a prayer throw with doing it hand stitched. So just marinate on that, marinate on that. And maybe what I could do, should I put a follow-up post as a video or I do it maybe as a blog post and point you guys to it so we can get feedback? Because I would, y'all, y'all not going to leave me out here by myself. Y'all, if somebody was to watch this, they would think I'm crazy talking to myself, waiting for comments to roll in. Yeah, I've gotten five stitches on this blanket because I'm talking. So... That's what we'll need to figure out. It's like how we would want to do it. But I'll think about it too and come back. Y'all, we have been on here an hour. I appreciate everybody for joining me. Okay, look, baby, that's what I need to hear. I know. Okay, I'm going to give y'all some inspiration, Kayla. I'm not going to leave you hanging. You know I'm not. That's why we're still here. Yeah, I'm not going to do bigger. She done went from four to six. Okay, look, Kayla done went from a four, four by four to a four foot by four foot to a six foot by six foot. Ain't he good? <laughs> I'm gonna miss. Okay, we're going to start wrapping it up. Don't forget um, to, if you have a project, hold on, let me make sure no one else put, uh, tag me on pictures. Hey, welcome, Nell. Um... Oh yes, making a cover for the um for your hope and not you. Uh, I could always say that wrong. It's I'm loving my cover, my journal cover, and I actually want to make another one that's the same size as a half a sheet of paper, so that I don't have to cut all that extra paper off and use that for journaling. So we're gonna come together. Yes, y'all give Nell some shout outs. She just came in late, but girl, we're gonna get you in here. Um, we are talking about doing a hand quilting project. Um, and potentially looking into maybe maybe in the fall or if, actually that's what I was going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell you this and then we're going to end out. This connects. Okay, y'all, I'm going to miss some of the comments. I'm going to try to watch them, but I don't want to jump around. Um, oh, you can do it, Shelly. Okay, look, we're coming towards the end of the year. I think with this hand quilting project, we can actually do that in October and that would be so much fun. It would be very stress-free and maybe in the end, we can kind of determine our own lengths, but we can maybe work on that from now through the end of the year. And then we can do pictures and I can do a parade video in January with your pictures. So y'all go ahead and start putting it in your mind. Think if you got your scraps like CC. Your, I mean, your stash like CC, start pulling out your fabrics. Um, and we can start doing that. But one of the things that I kind of wanted to ask you guys about, because you've all talked about your inspirations. Um, yeah, you're not going to need a pattern for what I'm talking about. We're going to literally cut pieces and it's going to be probably similar to the way that Kayla's looked in that you can either have a consistent block size of like a two and um, I wouldn't say maybe five, five inch blocks. That way you can get a charm pack or I'm probably going to do mine scrappy and just use scraps. So mine's are going to be different sizes of whatever fits. That's what I'm going to do. But um, I may end up having to do two so that I can show. But let's get to what I want to end this with. Okay. Y'all, okay, help me out here. I'll check comments on here at the very, very end. So, two things. Number one, I'll come back about this hand project. But the first thing that I wanted to kind of throw out here to the community, because y'all know when we get to the end of the videos, that's when the juicy stuff is. You know how I do it. So, we're getting to the end of the year. We've talked about planning. We've talked about questions of how you manage your time. We've talked about how you can start new projects in your life. And I wanted to know if you guys want to do like a webinar of how I do my end of the year to the beginning of the year planning for your vision. Not like your big, huge vision for your life, but maybe how you can start structuring some plans to get the things that you want to get done in the new year beyond new year resolutions. And if so, we would do that sometime in November. So write that down, think about that. And that would not be done on YouTube. I would not, it would not be a paid thing. Um, come on, Kim, you got to come through with us then. 
Um, it would not be a paid thing, but I would do it like on Zoom or something like that um, so that it'll be a little more private and it would be free um, to my subscribers. Um, the second thing is... You can do a nail. Okay, so that was the first thing. The second thing is we close down with inspiration. So let's get any last comments before we do inspiration. So think about that if you want to do the new year, like the plans, and we'll come back. I'll also look for anybody that has tagged me on Instagram with your pictures. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I thought I was going to be here crocheting by myself, but y'all came through like some real ones. And I appreciate you. Um, let me know if you have any other questions before we get to the end. Do you all have any other questions while I bring up? Okay. So this is what I want to end with. Recently, I read a book called Wolfpack. And um, I heard about it on a podcast. And I was like, hmm. I don't know who the author is. Look it up. It, I'm sure you're going to find her. She was a female soccer player. The book is short. It's an amazing audio book to listen to, but it's called Wolfpack. And one of the things that I took away from it, um, I want to read a quote that I captured. It was, when we, when we are afraid to fail, we don't take risks. Which book, Kayla? You got to tell me which one because you know I got 50 of them. The reason why I wanted to bring this up, and I know I'm going to jump around, so work with me, is that I feel like a lot of times when you guys reach out to me, that we want to know how to get started, how do I do this thing, how do I do that thing, and I think sometimes what we're looking for is a definitive answer, but the truth is to a lot of things in our lives, our answers are different. They're different because our lives are different. You may have children. I may not have children. I may have a lot of time. You may not have a lot of time. Even as talking about this hand quilting project, it can take me six months. It could take Kayla a year. But the reality is you don't really know until you try, but you can't be afraid to fail. And I think that's why crafting is so important. Okay, crafting is so important in that we do get the chance to fail and succeed. If you are quilting, you can just take that little seam ripper, rip out the seam and restart. And life is the same way. If you don't get it right the first time, do not be afraid to start again. Look at this channel. I'm gonna go ahead and use it as an ex as a example. I think I put my first video up in 2010, 2011. I would say that I have a relatively, I don't want to say small, but a nice size channel. And I think over the past few months, because I have under, began to understand the role that you all play in my life, that I've given it, it the, its priority. And I'm going to talk about this in another video, but I've given it its priority. And that means now that I'm seeing it move. I'm seeing people being more interactive. I understand now that it's not about me. It's about you. It's about us being a community. But it took trials and errors, starts and stops along the way. Now, thankfully, y'all, I'm the same person. <laughs> I've grown up. My babies have grown up. But I'm the same person. And I think that over time, especially people that have been years, you'll see that it's the same. But it's growing, I think, because we all understand that we're a part of this. So what I want to tell you all is don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't even see failure as a failure. I see it as an opportunity to learn. You learn that maybe I don't need to do it this way. Maybe I need to do it another way. You know, maybe I don't need to work with these people, but work with somebody else. And I would love to see all the different things that you all are doing. We have some dynamic people in this community and the only way that we can each grow is by sharing your gifts like think about it i'm gonna tease you kayla okay i hope you are a good sport because i've been teasing you and cc but kayla showed her her rock star project and that could seem like 
out of this stratosphere as far as what we are. Thank you, Kim. And thank you for joining us. You know, what we can do of doing something by hand. And now look, we have three or four people like, okay, I don't know how to do it, but I'll try. What if you did that in your life? I don't know how to do it, but I'll try. Go out for that new job. I don't know how to do it, but I'll try. Start a new running program. I don't know how to do it, but I'll try. Start a quilt. And that's how you make progress. That's how you change. That's how you grow. And that's how you grow outside of your circumstances. And that's what I love about YouTube. Um, someone mentioned, and I think, and again, it was Cece. Cece, do you love me? When she said, hey, Margaret, that she doesn't have a quote shop in her area or a quilters guild in her area. And look what YouTube does. You, you have a quilters guild every day if you go on and search for a video. So that's your inspo for the day. Don't be afraid to try. I'm not even saying to fail, to try. We're not going to go with the failure part. Don't be afraid to try. Because one of the things that I taught my kids as children is you will never get a yes if you don't ask. So don't be afraid to ask. They can only say one or two things, yes or no. And it's already a no if you don't ask. So girl, they used to ask me everything. I'd be like, could you? They would ask everything because I gave them the room to ask. Now you gotta be prepared for a no, but it takes a whole lot of no's to get to your yes. But you gotta go through those no's. So get through those no's quickly. So we trying to win over here. So we're about to sign out. Y'all, I've been going 76 minutes and 27 seconds. Any last questions? We're going to be working on a hand quilted piece. I'm going to start working on some tutorials for that. So start getting your stuff together. We're going to do a basic. Um, I'm going to do a basic. It's going to be a basic block. So we don't even have to buy no pattern or nothing like that. It's just going to be a community thing. And we're going to be prepared for January. Having a parade of our beautiful hand pieced so can y'all give kayla some love in the comments give her some emojis give her some hugs wanted to drop in and say hi hey thank you so much thank you you're welcome kimberly y'all tell kayla thank you because she didn't gave us our project now look if, if it's just me myself and i y'all know i will stop <laughs> severe finger Okay, while we telling Kayla thanks, um, Kayla did have um, a idea for me to read this. I'm going to read the first portion of my latest book, which is available now. I'm going to tell you all right now, all of my romances are not like this one. This does have some grown folks language. So if you are sensitive to it, close your ears. Um, <laughs> but... This is my latest book. Um, I'm gonna show, here's the cover. Can I have you? I'd love your support. It's $3.99 on Amazon. My pen name is Janice Dixon, y'all. So don't look for Dana. Don't look for Dana. Oh, it's so rewarding. Thank you so much, Kayla. Thank you. So I'm gonna read it and then we are going to sign off. Okay, look, I don't wanna read it on here because that glare. Let me know if there's any questions. I'll get to the questions once I... I can't do emojis. CC said she came from the laptop. See? Okay. <laughs> okay, here, here we go. Here we go. I'm trying to get to it. Here we go. Des, get your ass out here. We want another round. I shake my head, excelling the pent-up energy in my chest. I complete the message to my sister Faith while I consider my next move because I don't want to go out there again. Ryan and his boys yelled and cheered for the past two hours while watching the football game. But with each quarter, they got more agitated, questioning the referee's rulings, berating the owner, and cursing the coaches as their beloved team loses the game. I hear the rustle of clothes. Oh, hell, he's coming back here. I stand, dropping my phone in my back pocket, pulling the hem of my shirt out to hide it. He won't approve of me communicating with my sister again. The last thing they need is another round, but Ryan is better handled passed out than awake. I slip out, walking past the media room and slow down at the sight of their shocked faces. 
That room is my favorite in the house. Ryan had spared no expense when decorating from the flooring to the high vaulted ceilings. He hired an interior designer and customized everything, but it's the entertainment center with surround sound that has their eyes glued to the screen. Oh man, did that fool just fumble? Ryan snaps to his feet, pointing at the life-size player, then his angry eyes find mine. What are you dragging your feet for like we are of all fucking night? Let me get his damn beers. I move faster, entering the kitchen. I flick on the light and, and feel his eyes watching my every move. I can't piss without him standing outside the bathroom since my last runaway attempt. Touchdown! The roar of their cheers echo through the house as the rambunctious guys get louder. I glance over and they're dabbing and congratulating each other like they made the pass. Play nice, Destiny. I lower my head into the refrigerator. The smell of uh, the sweet aroma of melon greets me. I push around, I push air out of my mouth in anguish because I've exhausted all of my plans. Now I'm left with waiting for an opportunity to arise. The only way I'll get out of here alive is to make Ryan believe that he can trust me. I push around the condiments on the top shelf. There are three beers left. I search the lower shelf and the bottom drawers, spotting the grapes. I pop one in my mouth, slamming the drawers shut. Nope, only three. And there's three of them. I stand folded over and lift my eyes to peek above the top of the refrigerator door. Ryan is sitting in the recliner, focused on the game. Mike, his partner, is, taking in, is talking in his ear, pointing back and forth at the screen as if discussing a play. I reach inside, keeping my eyes trained on Ryan, and remove a beer. I use the tip of my nail and slide it under the tab, slowly releasing the air from the can. Once the hissing stops, I hold my breath, pressing the tab. The faint crack of the can opens, sending my eyes across the room again. He didn't hear it. I sigh in relief. Hurry, Destiny. I extend my hand from the open... With the oh, I extend my hand with the open can to the sink. I'm lightheaded because I refuse to breathe. He'll kill me if he sees what I'm doing. I keep him in sight while letting the yellow liquor flow down the drain. Des, he yells, impatience laced in his tone. My heart drops as his opal green eyes glare over the banister, separating the kitchen and the media room. I used to love his eyes. He turned me on from the mere sight of him. Then add the chiseled body and his smile. He's all American as apple pie and football. Then he changed. The can is near empty and I'm praying he can't see my arm because this beer is my escape plan. We only have two beers left. My voice is barely above a whisper. God, please don't let this man kill me and let his friends watch him do it. Ryan, did you see that pass? Mike asks. Ryan looks away and I hurry, tossing the can into the trash. I can run to the store and get more. I train my voice to be even and void of emotion. His eyes spit fire, but I don't break eye contact. He's held me hostage in this house for almost three weeks. What makes it worse is knowing that all of them are cops. And I can't ask for a single, I can't ask a single one of them for help. I've tried and it resulted in Ryan nearly putting me in the hospital. He knows how to push it far enough to a point, but not far enough to end my misery. Nice try. Bring them and make me a Jack and Coke. Hell, I drop my head. It's going to be a long night. I move quickly around the kitchen. I take the beers to the guys who mumble their thanks before retracing my steps back to get his drink. I need his favorite glass. I open the smoke, smoky gray cabinets and spot it on the second shelf from the top. He knows I can't reach that shelf. I inch onto my tiptoes trying to use every bit of my five foot four inches of height to obtain the old fashioned crystal tumbler. I stretch with the slight thrust of my left leg and use my middle finger to inch it towards the edge. Here, let me help you with that. Mike startles me, reaching around me. I got it. 
His arm brushes across my breast and I stumble back, hoping Ryan didn't see it. But the daggers he's shooting in my direction let me know my hopes went unheard. Rage churns in my gut because I can't catch a fucking break. And Mike knows Ryan is crazy. Thank you. I push through my clenched teeth. Did you need something? We need more chips. His eyes... His eyes sparkle with mischief as he places the empty glass bowl on the marble counter. His x-ray eyes make my skin crawl. What is it with jerks? They all flock together? I'll get it. I offer him my nicest falsetto to get him out of the kitchen. His attempt to catch a little feel will cause a fight tonight. Dez, Ryan's normal, normally olive skin is flaming red matching his hair. I'm coming. My response is harsher than I intended and his arch brows tell me so. I grab the bottle of, of flat soda and pour it into the glass, adding the whiskey with an extra flick of my wrist. He turns back to the game and this is my shot. I release the powder from one, two, three capsules into his glass. Then I add one more to give me a head start. I stir the concoction with my finger and I add a little extra whiskey to mask the flavor of the sedative. I can make his favorite drinks and meals with my eyes closed because in the beginning, all I wanted was to make Ryan happy, to make Ryan love me. Now I wish Ryan would just let me go. I head to the family room, stopping to circle back for the chips. I give Ryan his drink. I saw that. He yanks my wrist towards him, bringing me closer. I flinch, bringing my arm up to protect my face. I swallow as tears gather in my eyes. He pushes me away and the guys laugh as I stumble to the floor. I won't give him the satisfaction of seeing me cry. Instead, I crawl backwards out of his reach and cling to the silent clock ticking down in my head. I'm busting out of this place tonight and I'm never coming back. I declare with every ounce of my being, get your ass back to the room. And there y'all go. That's the first scene of Can I Have You? <laughs> That's all. I haven't read it aloud. So here's the cover again. And I had someone mention before saying that, thank you. Um, that this one is darker than my other stories and it is, it's a little bit darker. Um, that's, it's not a whole lot, but I feel like you kind of have to look at it, all dynamics of relationships. And sometimes we have to go through bad things for us to really appreciate the good things in our life. So destiny has a ways to go, but this is the beginning of this story. And so I'm trying to see if I missed any questions. Do we have any questions before we go? The book is available on Amazon. The clean version is in there. Thank you. And so if you read it, please consider leaving a review um, because I'm still trying to cancel out from when people got the wrong version and I couldn't control that portion of it. So thank you all for listening. Okay. Any questions before we go? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Pardon the, the adult language. But you didn't it make you feel it. It made you feel it. So now y'all know in the vlogs what I'm working so hard on. So yeah. All right. We're about to get ready to call it a night. Y'all got your inspo. You got your marching orders. So I will be back with the information about the quilt. That's going to be our next craft along together. We have already decided. And um, thank you all for joining me today. So. Let me, let's get some sound out. I'll see y'all later. Let me get some goodbyes, some emojis, some something. See who's left. And let's see. I will leave a comment. And did you finish the Freedom Bound quote? Yes, I did. Bye, uh, Kimberly, Kayla. Yes, I finished the Freedom Bound quote and I placed pictures on um, before. And I think in one of the vlogs it was in there. But a lot of those videos, I had to pull them. Thank you, Shelly, um, for joining us. Have a good evening. 
So, uh, Kayla, I can show more pictures again if I need to. Bye, CC. Are you riding? But yeah, I need to repost them because those were some of the videos that were affected when I had issues with my old music. I guess I remember I had issues with that. So I had to pull those videos. Um, and that's actually one of the quilts I'm getting ready to quilt. How did you quilt it? I haven't. That's one of the ones that's coming up. I just bought the background fabric. So when I quilt that quilt top, Kayla, I will be showing that on the vlog since I had to remove the other videos. Is that the part that you wanted to see? Who else is saying bye? I see y'all hanging around. Who else do we have? That was Kimberly, Cece, Shelly. Is Nell still here? Margaret still here? Oh, see. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'll be showing that. I'm actually going to do that in its own thing, like a show and tell. So you guys will see me like uh, do the sandwich by Diane. Uh, you'll see me sandwich the quilt and also do the uh, quilting on there. And that's why I'm looking at the dot to dot class because I want that to be really good because that's the quilt I'm keeping. So yeah, that's coming up. And actually, if we do this hand piecing one, I may use my scraps from that. I have a whole bucket of scraps from that. Oh, see, look at that. All right, anybody else? Any other questions before we go? Y'all, nobody's gonna watch this video other than y'all. This is an hour and 30 minutes. I gotta go cook dinner. Any other questions? Thank you all so much for joining me. We will work on the project. I will work on getting it all together. Yes, let's do this hand quilts and Yes, and Kayla, if you have any tips, let me know. I'm excited about it. I'm excited. So what will you need to do? Start getting your fabrics together. Know that I'm thinking, I'll say, give me about, give me about two weeks to get the first video up, the piecing. Because I'll need to cut some and I'll be doing that while I'm cutting the other stuff. The other stuff will just be secondary because this will, you know, be more priority so I can record the videos. And of course, if you guys want, let me know in the comment section if you want more lives because I don't do these often. That's why it's so long. All right, y'all. So final goodbyes. This is, I did six stitches. <laughs> six stitches on my blanket. I'm going to keep going though. So that's it. I don't see any more questions. Thank you for joining me. Have a fantastic day. You wrote that book? Yes, Nell, I did. I'm like, oh man, you missed it. You missed it. Well, you're gonna go back. Yes, do more lives. Yay, I will. Yes, I wrote the book. It is available on Amazon. Look for Can I Have You by Janice Dixon. Zero stitches. Okay, Cece, I don't feel bad. Tell everyone to hit the like button. Oh, yes, hit the like button. Thank you, Diane. See, real ones. <laughs> yes, more lives. Um, thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe because I know we had some guests. So thank you all for welcoming our guests. Catch the replay and my new YT name. Oh, yes. Oh, you changed it. I like that. Um... So yes, catch the replay because we talked about some things. Y'all, when the replay is posted live, you can add additional comments, especially about the project. Please support the book. It is $3.99 on Amazon. And if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can read it free. Don't forget to leave a review. I would really appreciate reviews. So we are out because I need to cook. So y'all, I'm sending hugs, love, um, and creativity your way. Uh, thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for embracing the changes that I have been doing and for giving your voice and like coming on today because now we have something to do. Oh, I'm going to tell you, I'm sorry. You're right D about the Bible. No, but I answered. What do you mean the Bible journal? Bible journal. You mean the Bible journaling videos, Kayla? Because I want to answer this because she asked it earlier. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm always one more thing. Hugs. Hugs back. Um, you mean like the Bible journal and videos, Kayla? I know we're delayed on here. 
I'm going to answer it generally because I don't know if I lost her. Yes. Okay. Bible journaling videos. Those will be coming. I have them mostly on the other video because here's the thing with Bible journaling videos. I don't always know how to do them here because I feel like we have a mixture of believers and unbelievers and I don't want to scare the unbelievers off because we know that everybody needs a little. Yeah, I know my own myself is infused with the goodness the good news. Okay. But, um, what I think, um, I'll start doing is like, um, motivational videos, kind of snippets. But, um, if you're talking about like Bible journal entries, then that may be something different. So come back and give me like a detailed question. And then the other part that I do also cover in, I'm sorry, um, in the video that's coming up. So do I have some of that sort of coming? Um, the devotional, the book, the Bible study book, that's something that I'm working on. Doing the journal entries is something that I had been thought about putting on here again, but it is on my other channel that's faith-based that will be coming up. And I may share some of that between both channels. And is that what you're talking about? I'm trying to get it before we leave, y'all. Because look, Kayla been up. She's been a real one today. She was grilled and everything. She didn't even know she was going to be the hot topic. Um, but yes, um, I'm honestly, I would love any suggestions of what you guys want to do because I would like to see more. What is my other channel? My other channel is messy Bible, clean heart. That's my other channel, messy Bible, clean heart. And that's where all my Bible journal and stuff is goes over there. Some of it, I bring it over here sometimes, but I try to keep them separate because of the faith thing. That's why. Um, but yeah. When you see that, like you can always come back and go back to the Q&A video if you have another question. But I do answer your other question in an upcoming video. And if it's not this coming Saturday, um, it will be the following one um, that, that is coming up. Is that it? Did I get it? Did I get it? So the other YouTube channel is Messy Bible Clean Heart. It's the other channel. And you'll see me there. Girl, that's a foreign language. <laughs> it's a foreign language. I don't know what that was. I think that was an OBKB. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Um... I think I covered everything. Y'all say a prayer for me this week on keto. You have a new vlog coming up on Tuesday. I just edited it today. Okay, that's what you're thinking of. Um, and with the Bible journaling, the thing that I was saying before was, you know, the thought that one of the things that you guys have been asking me, or not all, you specifically, but in general, have been asking me about was the prayer journals. And prayer journals... Prayer shawls, prayer, prayer blankets. And I really feel like that should be a series. I just don't know if this is the channel to put the series on. Yes, that is my other YouTube channel. Thank you, Marilyn. If Because that needs to be a series. And I just don't know if that should be on this channel. Because I always feel like it's misunderstood. And I feel like whether people, whether people always focus on the end product and how you give it or if you sell it. But I focus on the process of making it and how you use scripture and how you use your quiet time and how you use meditation and pair it with your crafts. So if that's something that people are, that you guys are interested in, that's something that I would like to do. But when I do that, it will not be on YouTube. I won't charge for it. We'll do it off YouTube. But it'll be because I don't want it to get muddied here. And I don't want it people to get distracted. That would really be something where we would study scripture and then we'd work. Maybe. And that's why I did the other one, CC. You're right. That's why I did the Messy Bible Clean Heart. Because it would pair well there. Because people know that that's a, ch a channel ba you know, centered on faith. Um, but that's something that, um, I, here's the thing. And then we really are, we got to go for real y'all. I got to cook here. Um, here's the thing. Whenever I do those, those classes, the reason why I like doing them over conference call, cause let's say that we're talking, instead of you putting comments like you're doing here, you can actually talk. 
and you want to be able to say, hey, this is CC, and you could say X, Y, and Z that's going on in your life. And we don't know CC. You could be CC from Kiki in the Drake song. It won't matter, but you will still have a sense of anonymity that you can share things that you really are struggling with, but at the same time, um, you will get some in-depth insight so that I can hear the question and address the question directly to you. And that's why I like using conference calls over this type of platform. But it would, it's, it's, it's only, that's not for everybody. But for the few people that need it, I'm telling y'all, it's the truth. You, you think this, like, because right now we're doing it general. You guys are answering questions. But if I can ask specific questions and really kind of get in there, y'all, we can get in there for real. So um, that's why I don't bring it to the YouTube channel. And probably what the charge is for me is to, to create the curriculum and then do the invite and put it on that platform and just make it available and who comes, comes. And that's the mindset that I'm working on right now versus thinking, oh, no, I'm going to be alone. The thought is I'll make it and God will send whoever needs to be there there. And I'm growing in that place. I really am. Cause I don't like doing all this work and being alone, but that's not what I'm supposed to be focusing on. So I'm working on that. Pray for me. All right. So that's it. So we're out. Have a fantastic Sunday. You will see a vlog on Tuesday. I believe I answered all the questions. Thank you again to Kayla for sharing your project and your um, pictures. Okay. Kayla, I would take that tip. Y'all know my Starbucks is $6.44 per cup. However, I can't even have that Starbucks no more because it's not on keto. <laughs> you buying my books help a lot. So thank you, sis. I truly appreciate you. Um, we'll be back. We'll do more lives. We're going to do a project. And it does. it only takes, the song says, the power of one to change a nation. So you guys are that one. I'm sending love from my family to yours. Have a fantastic afternoon. I got to go downstairs and cook some chicken wings for this football game. Okay? So take care. Get to crafting. Pull out your scraps. Well, actually, don't pull out your scraps yet. I will do an introduction video probably in the next two weeks. And then right around the corner, do the first one for our hand. But what you can buy, and this, it really is the last thing. You can, you need the needle. You need thread, not um, polyester thread. Let me, hold on y'all. Let me get the thread. Okay. You want something like this. This is an old one. Um, you want the, like a quilting thread and you want a needle. And we'll talk about fabrics later. But if you have the needle, the thread... Um, Instagram, send it to me in Messenger. We follow each other now. Um, you want to get thread, needle, and we'll talk about fabrics later. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Love you guys. I will see you all sooner than later. And y'all gonna put this up. Nobody gonna wanna watch this long video, but we've had a fantastic time, and that's because of you. So I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Let me hear your buys. Y'all have two, been told it was a, a, one more minute and 10 seconds that I'm ending. <laughs> Everybody's still here. Ain't nobody saying bye. Y'all just, are y'all working? Or y'all just waiting for me to end it? <laughs> one minute left. <laughs> I've had so much fun too. Bye, Kayla. Bye, Cece. Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you ever, ever leave from beside me. Because I want you. 
she said i ain't never had anybody put my name with that cc that kiki sorry all right everybody else all right we're out thank you i'm gonna call everybody out that i can kimberly cc kayla uh nail shelly margaret marilyn my husband came through in the beginning because he's an OG. My daughter came through and made a cameo, fixed the IG channel or page, Instagram, Crafters Vlog. My second YouTube channel for faith is Messy Bible Clean Heart. And my latest release on Amazon is Can I Have You by Janice Dixon. And when this goes up, I'll put it in the description box. But if you can support it and leave a review, that would be greatly appreciated. So that's the way you can show your love, family. All right, we're out. Love you guys. Bye. Say bye.